morning. Good Dr. morning. Michael Gottfried for the Chiropractic Society of Rhode Island with our Get a Spine podcast. And with me this morning is Dr. Kristen Fabry. And she's a wonderful chiropractor who practices in Providence, Rhode Island. And so, Kristen, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got into chiropractic? Sure. So, yep, I practiced in Providence on Hope Street. Um, we have our regular practice here, and then we also have a nonprofit called Be Well Community. Um, we really believe that it's important for people to, for everybody to get chiropractic care. So, as you know, a lot in, in, in healthcare, really true like wellness and, and preventative care is often only available to people that can afford it. So, here we really try to make it affordable for everybody. Um, so I love what I do. I love being a chiropractor. Um, the way that I got into this, um, I think, you know, we all feel at a certain point called to be a caregiver of some kind. And then, you know, a doctor said to me once, go into the profession where you feel that you can contribute the most to. So, so pick the specialty that you feel like you can really make a difference in. And, um, I had no idea what chiropractic was. I think I was studying in my, my junior year of college, I was studying in Melbourne, Australia, and I dissected, you know, did a anatomy lab where I dissected cadavers. And as morbid as some people might think that is, I thought it was really cool. And I thought anatomy was really cool. And so my, uh, my professor said to me, well, you should either be a surgeon or a chiropractor. So when I got back to the States, this was like in the time where, where phone books were a thing, right? I got out the phone book and I, looked up the chiropractors that were closest to me. And I went in and I said, Hey, you know, can you, can you show me what you, what you do? And they adjusted me for the first time. And I thought it was the coolest thing ever it relieved all this pain that I had in my back from playing field hockey. And I also just really liked the idea of offering something else that wasn't just, you know, sitting and, and writing a prescription and, and giving it to somebody, not that there's anything wrong with that. You know, I think people, often think chiropractors are anti-medications and, and we're not. There's a time and a place for it, especially right now. Um, but just from, for me, I, I just wanted some, something else that interested me. And, uh, and as soon as I got adjusted, I was like, this is it. This is, this is what I want to do. And I haven't looked back. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. So we do share a little something, though I haven't made it to Australia. We share the fact that uh, we knew little about uh, chiropractic uh, before we went. Actually, I had never even got adjusted before I went to chiropractic school. It was oh, just really? a letter from a long-term friend of mine who was a student at chiropractic college that uh, got me going. So, uh, Kristen, what we're really here to talk about is uh, this Straighten Up Rhode Island program that you have initiated. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what that's about. Sure, so Straighten Up RI is to serve a, a couple of different things. I mean, first and foremost, it's a campaign to educate people on the importance of spinal and back health, right? So, you know, like back in the late 60s, dentists started doing campaigns in schools for kids to teach people how to, you know, properly take care of their teeth. And, and I think as chiropractors, especially during COVID, where we're seeing a lot of chronic back pain start to arise, this is really an important time where we need to really start educating people on how to take care of their back, take care of their spine. I think a lot of people don't realize the importance of back and spinal health and their overall, you know, well, well-being and their overall health. So first, this campaign is going to serve to really get information out there about that. And then second, for people who are working from home, for people that are distance learning, for, um, for our seniors who are inside more, and for people that are maybe working harder than they normally would. You know, everybody has different situations, and we want to put out information there for people who don't have their regular wellness routines going on, right? People um, aren't at their gym that they usually are at, or they're not doing their yoga that they usually do um, because their classes have been canceled or they're doing it online. So we want to help people adapt take the situations that they're in and adapt and make certain lifestyle changes and create their a new wellness routine for themselves um, by giving them, you know, basic exercises and stretches to do by telling them, you know, or helping them to create their, their best workspace from home. Um, so things like that, that we just want to, at this particular time, really get that information out there. 
Good. So the Straighten Up Rhode Island program is specifically oriented towards giving additional information to people who might be extra stressed in COVID times. So, uh, and you're, you're, you've been practicing through the pandemic as a number of our chiropractors have. So what have you noticed specifically uh, in relation to the patients that you're seeing? Yeah, so I think there's a number of things. Um, there's things that we hear from our patients and there's things that we see clinically, right, physically. Um, so let me talk about some of the physical things that, that we're seeing and you're probably seeing in your, in your practice, right? So an increase in, in chronic neck, back pain. Um, so people that are more sedentary now, they're not getting out, they're not moving as much, right? We're seeing an increase in, in pain um, with that. Um, and just random things lately. I'm seeing a lot of shoulder issues from people that are um, don't necessarily have a great workspace set up at, at home and they keep their mouse like, you know, way out here and just, you know, trying to teach them to bring it in closer to them. But, you know, they develop this shoulder pain um, or I'm adjusting a lot of, of TMJ because I think people don't realize sometimes they hold their masks up, right, with their mouth. Um, you know, other things like ribs, I'm, I'm adjusting a lot of ribs and, and you know, why, why is that, right? Uh, ribs expand and contract as we breathe. So um, people aren't breathing normally and, and maybe they've had to get used to wearing their masks or, you know, maybe they're really stressed and, um, you know, the, the ribs, you know, lose their, their natural mobility. They get, they get stuck, right? So we're adjusting a lot of ribs. So, um, you know, but on the, the end of chronic pain, um, you know, I think 2020 was a, a tough year in a lot of ways. And, you know, well, let, let me say this too. I think one of the um, gems that, that come with being a chiropractor and one of our responsibilities that we have um, that's really cool is that we spend more time with our patients typically. Would you agree, right? As chiropractors, we tend to spend more time with our patients. We tend to get to know them more. We're not just seeing them once or twice usually. Um, and, you know, we, we know as good, good physicians that, you know, if you get to know the patient, um, that you can make better decisions about what they're going to clinically respond to on the table. So we're getting, you know, we get to know them. And I would say in the last year, this has been going on for almost a year now, you know, you, you hear about people's challenges that they're facing. And, you know, I would, I would say 2020 was a big year for, for loss, right? I mean, some people would argue it's a year of lessons, but I'm going to call it as it is and say, you know, you hear a lot in your practice about patients loss and whether that be lost from somebody that, that has passed from COVID. And I'm sure, you know, you've sat with patients that have experienced that, but it's a spectrum. Loss is a, is a spectrum, right? So you have that, you have people that have lost their jobs or, you know, having financial hardship. And, um, you know, we've been helping a lot of patients out with that here and, you know, everything from that to just people that have just generally had a bad day, right? So, loss, you know, experienced on that, that spectrum, I think for the past year has been really magnified for people because they're experiencing it in isolation. Right. And, you know, as, as we know, as doctors, when you have loss together, that that's experienced in isolation, whatever end of the spectrum it's on, it's an isolation coupled with not moving very much. Right. It's, it's all a, um, you know, contributes to, can contribute to chronic pain, right? It's a recipe for chronic pain sometimes. And so that's what I've seen in, in my practice and that's what I've heard. And that's what I want this campaign to really try to address some of the things and just to make life easier for, for people right now. Awesome. So, uh, and as you were talking and you took the words right out of my mouth, the, it, uh, the situation is magnified, whatever stresses people are under, have been magnified for sure over the past year. And again, that contributes to uh, many of the chronic and some acute conditions that people are facing right now, for sure. And uh, you've alluded a little bit to how chiropractic may be positioned in a unique way, one of which is that we tend to see the patients for a longer period of time and on a more regular basis than perhaps uh, most of the uh, medical uh, profession does. Do you see any other aspects? Certainly uh, the fact that it's natural care. What, what kinds of things would, might you highlight from the standpoint of specific to chiropractic care for COVID 
consideration? Sure. Well, you know, consider the fact that a lot of people spend more time uh, on the maintenance of their cars than they do their bodies, right? At this particular time, people need need maintenance, right? I mean, they really need to be taking care of themselves. And like I said, they might need to change what that looks like in their life. Um, you know, chiropractors can really help not just treat those acute and chronic conditions, in which case, you know, there, there's more care needed there, but, you know, they can help people maintain their well-being. They can help people move properly that, you know, the way they need to move. When people are um, immobile, not moving around as much, they're, they're sitting more. I mean, how many people right now are, are, you know, might be watching this and they're sitting and they're looking down at their phone or they might be slumped over on, you know, on a couch. So, you know, if you're watching this and you're on your phone, you know, pull it up to your face and put a pillow you know, in the arch of where your um, where the arch of your low back meets your mid back. So it, it's like stuff like that that chiropractors, you know, know and can just you know um, give to a patient and you know and, and make a difference and prevent them from you know developing that chronic neck pain. From excellent, you know. excellent, good common sense kinds of things. And what are some of the topics that uh, you see uh, the uh, straighten up program covering for people? Yep. So again, a, a wide range of, of things, you know, we want to, you know, get to people that are that are working from home and try to help them set up the best workspace. Um, we want to give them some basic stretches and exercises to do. We want to do the same thing with um, with the kids of, of all ages, um, you know, some that are sitting in front of screens for really long periods of time and, and really just to even get them to take a break and you know, and walk outside for a little bit, um, you know, so how much screen time should they be, you know, having and, and the little ones, it's really important too to, you know, even though they're not probably not getting out as much too, to teach them how to move and to model that for them. So, um, you know, and same thing for, for our seniors, they're, um, you know, definitely inside more, and maybe not moving around as much. So we want to give them some things to do and, and some good tips. Um, can I give you my best tip now that I love giving to my patients? Can we just can we go so, there? Is that a question? <laughs> no, no, no. So, so you made a good point there about uh, the full range of chiropractic care from, uh, you know, the saying is from, that we sometimes say is from the cradle to the grave. Uh, so uh, a lot of times folks think of chiropractic specifically for back pain and or older people. But again, as you highlighted, uh, especially now, kids are under a lot of stress too. Uh, parents are under stress taking care of the kids more so than they normally would be. And then seniors are under their own stress. And so we're well, well positioned to uh, assist people at all different points in their life. So uh, do you have any additional thoughts that you might want to uh, talk to people about in relation to the campaign before we close this uh, podcast? Uh, additional, well, I can tell you where to go to get the information. You're going to go to straightenupri.com. And then you're going to go on Facebook and find the Chiropractic Society of Rhode Island. And you're going to like that page. And then you're going to get all of the up-to-date information um, that we have with the campaign. And really, every week, we're going to be getting great tips from our doctors all across the state that are, that are going to give um, their best tips and just like great words of wisdom that, that they give to, to their patients. Um, so why don't I leave you with mine? Um, I love to tell people to have dance parties and they can do this with their little ones like I do with mine. They can do it, you know, um, when they're older, they can do it with their partners. Um, so with my four-year-old at home, uh, we have, we made a, um, a disco ball out of tin foil and, and styrofoam. Like really, if you have little ones at home, you can do a lot now with cardboard and, and tin foil. And we made a disco ball with the little pieces. And then, you know, all kids have like toys probably that have a, a strobe light or something. So we like hung up the disco ball and we got the strobe light going and we turn out the lights. And, you know, when we feel like we need to move around or we need a little pick me up, we have a dance party. And so I recommend this <laughs> to just get moving. So even if you are sitting at your computer for, you know, some people eight hours a day, right? And you need a little break. Like I'm, I'm telling people get up every 15 to 20 minutes, create that habit for yourself, have some water and get up and move around, get up, put, you know, whatever you like to rock out on, have a two minute dance party with yourself, sit back down to work and see what that does for you. I like it. 
I hadn't thought about that. See that? There we have a great exchange, a dance party. Excellent, excellent. So uh, thanks, everybody who might be listening. This is the Chiropractic Society of Rhode Island's podcast, Get a Spine. And uh, again, Kristen gave the contact information, and uh, you can also uh, contact us at ricairo.org. And we hope to see and hear from you sometime soon.